you know, a lot of people are hating on this news, but I think it's really, really good, especially for CGC and CSG. And um, eBay have basically changed the game. There's big things to come within the hobby. Hey everyone, Dan the Carman back again. Good to have you here. Welcome to another video. As you can see by the title, today we're looking at some breaking news from eBay. Now I'm filming this the day or not long after the news came out, but you'll probably see this video a couple days late, so please bear with me. But basically what's happened is eBay have announced a new authentication program for trading cards sold on eBay. Now they've done this in the past for things like luxury watches and sneakers. Just introduced it now for trading cards. So I'm gonna talk you through basically what that means, what my thoughts are, and why it's freaking awesome news for the likes of CSG and um, CGC because they've potentially got themselves a huge market now that the, the other graders might not be tapped into. And I'll get to what my thoughts are on those in a minute. If we quickly jump to the news itself, so as you can see, if you go to eBay's authenticity guarantee page now, you'll see that along with sneakers, watches, handbags, they now have trading cards. Now, if you click on this link, it'll take you to this page. And I think their key message here is no fakes, no fraud, no doubt. Because as you would have seen, especially if you follow the likes of Card Porn and Lameem James, there's been a lot of posts or a lot of sales lately on eBay. And it's been happening for a long time, but it seems to have increased quite, quite significantly in the recent times with people selling fake cards on eBay. So now what can happen is, as a seller, you have the option to send your card for authentication um, before the buyer purchases it, basically to give the buyer added comfort that what you're selling is complete and accurate, right? Now for the time being, it's limited to just cards over $750, I think it's US. They're not looking at patches or autos, they're purely just looking at base cards and inserts and things like that, just no patches, no autos, as you can see down here. They will look to um, make this, I think if there's FAQs here I can click on, or is this the same thing? There is, I remember seeing an article earlier where they were talking about, um, if it goes down here, where they're looking to maybe make it to $250 and above later on, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. But one piece that I think is freaking huge, honestly, is that basically Certified Collectibles Group, which is um, CGC, and then also CSG for sports cards, uh, yeah, CSG for sports cards, um, are going to do the authentication. Now, this is, it's pretty crazy because essentially what happens, and I'll quickly take you through the process. So basically, as a, as a seller, you'd send your cards in. eBay's covering the cost for the time being. It, it won't it won't cost you anything just yet. I'd imagine you would, you would have to either pay a fee as a seller or a buyer down the line to get this service happening. But sort of what happens is it'll get sent to CGC. They'll do their authentication or CSG, depending on whether it's a sports card or not, and they'll send it back to you in something that looks like this. So it's easy for you to display, but it also gives you the comfort that what you're looking at is the goods. Now, the reason why this is really cool is because I'm not going to be surprised to, for two things to happen. I'm not going to be surprised if they expand this, go back to here, expanding this back to or to include comic books as well, because CGC, you know, are the largest comic book grader in the world, the most prominent, they've been doing it the longest, they have the biggest standing within, within the hobby. So they've got their foot in the door now to maybe get that kind of work going, so that's really big for them. The second point is, I don't think it's going to be long before we see eBay offer the ability to sellers or buyers to have a card sent off for grading once sold. Now, it would make sense to do that for a few reasons. You might say, okay, well, why would I want to send in a card for grading that I haven't seen in person? But if you're going off what the listing says, and maybe you can send a minimum grading when they're doing the authentication, if it meets the minimum grade, maybe they can also slab it for you and just charge a minor fee if you don't want to go ahead. But I just think um, that's sort of an opportunity that CGC has moving forward. And I think it'll be one that them and eBay will work together on to try and um, implement, right? Because it doesn't make sense. That's that's so many more opportunities you get as a, a grader to get access to customers that you might not normally get, right? And you might think, okay, people might get their card graded. They don't want to get it and then send them in in bunches. But if you, if you can imagine, right, you've purchased a, a cool card on eBay. If you just think you're the customer right now. You've purchased a cool card. You want to get it authenticated. So it gets sent off. And then they ask you the question every single time you purchase a card, oh, do you want to get it graded? Do you want to get it graded? Like, I think when you ask enough people that question, you're going to get people that say yes, right? Which would have otherwise not been business for you. So I think it's a really interesting insight and um, potential path that these guys could go down. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do in the end. But it's sort of pretty cool. There's no cost to the buyer or seller at the moment. And it says here for a limited time. So don't think it's going to be free forever. They basically go through the steps, which is pretty cool. And they'll go through all the steps. And the way you know if, if the listing will offer this service or not is you'll see the little blue check mark. Um, it's probably a bit hard to see in the video, but 
it'll say authenticity guaranteed as well, just above. I think it's, um, if you're actually in the app, it'll say just above the price or just below the price, one of the two. But there you go. They basically authenticate it. They put a little seal on there so nobody can tamper with it and basically say, oh, well, it's in this holder. They, they authenticate it. It's like, no, it's sealed with a, a void if damage sticker, which is pretty cool. And it's nice to see that it's eBay's name on there because eBay's going to basically wear the brunt. I'm curious to see if there were any issues down the line, but they talk through returns. They talk through authenticity um, and a few other things. So if you haven't seen this post, I'll, I'll put this link in my description so you can have a look at it in detail because there's a few really cool things in here that I think you need to be made aware of. At the moment, I believe it's just limited to the US. So you need to basically be a buyer and but basically the buyer and the seller need to be in the US. So if you're somebody that lives outside the US and you're purchasing something and want this guaranteed for, you obviously need to have something like ship my cards, right? But overall, I think it's just really, really cool. So there's no fee at the moment. They will be one for sure in, in the future because I think this is going to take off. I think this is going to make eBay so much revenue. Like it's just crazy. Is there anything else of note? Um, they're talking about things of arrive damage, but one of the cool things to note, um, this is sort of new now, and a lot of you are probably already aware of this as well, but eBay is implementing this trading card hub, which is basically like a... What's the word? It's like the collector Z thing you can use for comic books, wine and things like that, which basically tracks your collection in an app. This will sort of let you do that, but also give you market value um, information as well as what those cards are selling for, things like that, which is um, like good on eBay for putting that together. It obviously goes against things like market movers and card ladder and things like that. But given that they've got that huge volume of information in the back end that some of these guys wouldn't have access to, like I think they could do some really cool insights from a from an app perspective with this kind of stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Like I think it's really good. I know from what I saw on social media, so many people are hating on this. Like I, d I don't understand why, like it's free. And even if it's not free, even if you have to pay, as long as the fee's not crazy, right? If you got to pay five bucks to get your card authenticated, I don't see why you would do that, right? Like if you're going to be, why you wouldn't, right? You're purchasing a thousand dollar card from someone that's got low feedback or maybe a rare card or maybe a card that's known to be fake, like like some precious metal gems and things like that. Like this just gives you so much more comfort as a buyer that it would definitely entice you to purchase things that you wouldn't normally purchase. And then it also mitigates against obviously the risk of getting a fake card that you wouldn't know. Let's say you, you didn't know it was a fake card. You purchased it, it gets sent to you. You send it off to PSA. They take six months to get back to you. Like you can't get your money back then, right? It's way too long. So it's, it's really good for the hobby. I don't understand why people are hating on it. And um, like I said, I can sort of see um, CGC, CSG taking advantage of this and trying to get new customers in from grading from a grading perspective. Like I would not be surprised if in six months, 12 months or sooner, we see an option to have your card graded rather than just be authenticated. So that's sort of it. I hope you liked the video. Um, like I said, please leave a like and a comment if you did and let me know your thoughts down below. Like, do you think this is a good idea or not? Do you think... Uh, do you think the haters are on the money and you think it's a bad idea? If it is, why do you think it's bad? Let me know. I'm happy to have a chat. Just want to understand what the other perspective is, right? And um, let me know if you sort of agree that we might see them offering a service to have it graded by CGC and CSG. Like I think the other point to talk about is what impacts this might have if that is the case for PSA, PSA and BGS, right? If all of a sudden, so many customers do start to start, decide to get their cards graded through this service when it is offered, like what, what would that mean for the market? Like at the end of the day, I know SGC are doing really, really well, but I've always said that CGC is sort of like the dark horse out of them just because of the backing they have from a comic book industry. So this is like a huge thing for them and um, really curious to see what happens and how it transpires and how the hobby actually uses it and long-term and how the hobby, um, I guess, enjoys it. But that's it. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.